Oh, what's going on guys? Bow here back with some mutant genetic gladiators. So let's get into this today. We're going to be checking out PvP season 117. We still have 10 days, 19 hours, and we got attacked quite a bit, but we're not too worried about the points as of right now. I do, however, want to do PvP because we did get an Evo discount and I did get my Evo up to 198. So yeah we have 11 levels to actually go up so um we're just gonna use these three because we want to level up these threes the three first because we have to get colossus of course up to max we always use x27 and then bob is right there so we might as well use these three i still haven't finished these so once we get these guys up to 198 we'll start focusing on the other ones although that many levels is probably going to take a little bit of time. Wait, what's this guy's? 300? Um, I can't remember which tags are alright to use. To somebody strong enough to kill on a hit. But yeah, we definitely want to start getting our Evo up um, to 200. So hopefully... We, I was going to say within this month, but we're probably not going to have another discount. I'm thinking they're going to give us one hopefully every month or maybe they'll give us one towards the end of this month. I don't know. Whenever we get another discount, I'm hoping to have enough gold. Even if it's 60%, I should have enough gold because, um, yeah, I make about 800 plus within two days so I definitely should have that much I just got to remember to save I should actually attack this because I would have been able to one shot it no matter what my fault there but uh, yeah I should be able to save gold for the levels but I kind of want to use credits the only problem with that is if it's 60% that's way too many credits to get within that short of amount of time uh, just because yeah, I get a couple million credits every day, but I would need, because right now it's closing in on, at 80%, it's closing in on at 200 million per level, so at 60%, it's insane how much you're going to actually need, and I doubt I'll be able to get that, so if it is another 80%, that'd be nice. Because I could use the credits and then I could just use gold after that. But I don't know. We'll see. We're two levels shy of 200, which is what I want to get up to. Once we get up to that, I guess we'll start going for maybe 250, 300 from there. Um, and now that means I got to get my characters up, which takes forever already because we don't have a lot of wait what's this person's level i'm not even paying attention to levels at this point um we don't have a, a lot of credits right now because i only have 20 million so i can buy passes and stuff like that but you spend a couple million within i don't know not too many fights because it costs i think it's like 250 thousand for like 20 or 25 or something like that so yeah you get through them pretty quick and i don't think 20 million is going to be a lot so especially with like the levels on these guys even though i have the 200 percent boost or the triple experience and then we also have the 100 percent which is basically 300 percent and then i actually don't have any exp i don't think i do i think i removed them yeah we don't have any experience on any of these so they do take a lot more to level even if i were to switch them out which i wouldn't just because it would take a lot more orbs put all some of the ones back on well i guess i could especially on like this one because it's just attack and i have a ton of attack orbs but i don't really want to I don't know we'll see if i'll do that or not it would help out in leveling it's just if i had to keep doing that every time i level up my evo i would run out of orbs eventually so kind of don't want to do that 
but like with PvP you'll see here I don't get that well this one no he wasn't that high of a level we get a little bit of uh, experience 25k and then fame I did get a little bit more there but if I were fighting people a little bit lower a little bit higher we would get more so I guess it just depends but this also eats up time as well so that's a big problem plus the med packs and stuff like that you would go through which I'm already running low on at one point I had like 15k I think I had 10 plus K of each of them so yeah that does uh, factor in as well so we'll uh, just keep going I guess and doing PvP um, PvE I do need to get the event done which shouldn't take too long well I don't know who to take down here because he's got retaliate uh, he's got a retaliate orb on as well so but then again he attacks all three you know what he's got more HP so we'll use the tag on him and then we'll just take down Buck from there I guess because I'm pretty sure he'll be able to hit for six yeah he should be able to hit for 60 we'll take it down to 50 wait should I hit it twice no I should not and the only reason I don't want to hit it again because it'll kill me so we're not going to but even using passes in the division and stuff like that that's only like a little bit of experience and with the amount of characters I would have to level considering I just went up with another like 10 plus levels it's gonna take forever like some of these characters are still well under level 100 so yeah I'm gonna have to focus on trying to find any way to get experience at this point well I guess once I build up my credits it shouldn't be that big of an issue it's just if you guys ever bought passes for credits it does eat away a lot even though I get millions I could burn through that like daily come back on like have five million credits uh, sometimes more depending on how long it's been but I can go through that just sitting here for a couple hours so yeah that kind of sucks um, now that I have to go up a ton more levels it's gonna be a lot harder getting these guys leveled because like right now those are our top three characters which we have quite a few levels to go Exilaroth up next and then you can see it just slowly drops off from there and we also get new mutants of course and then I have like I had to have at least 50 plus platinums I have way more than that I think haven't actually counted how many platinums I have but I have so many platinums so that is another thing a leveling characters takes forever that's why you guys always see me use the same ones it's leveling takes forever when you're leveling like say you get a new character and you have to get him up 200 levels that takes forever to do especially without having Ooh, I don't know what to go for here let's just try to take down this a little bit um especially when you're having to go from level one to close to 200 even with level three exp orbs on it still takes forever and the boost from experience which I always have on like the 200% one I have on for like 600 days the double experience one which is 100% I have on for like a week but I have like 40 plus more in my bag I just don't use them all at once because I don't have that many of that one but they're always on when I'm playing so even with those it doesn't help that much going up that many levels especially when you're always getting new characters and stuff like that so you really do have to pick and choose which characters which characters you want which a lot of people do like there's certain mutants of course you want to use in terms of defense speedsters there's just a handful of them I use x27 but I've been using that forever there are other ones there's wind spirit which does get an extra orb there's actually quite a few that are actually faster than x27 or at the same so I don't know it just depends on which one you need but uh, yeah we have so many characters and a leveling is just a pain for me right now 
like even if I were to do PvP every single day, it would take me forever to level these characters. Even fighting higher level Evos. So, I don't know. It's probably going to be the next couple of videos or something like that. I'm going to use these over and over because I have to level them. And normally when I'm leveling up uh, other characters outside of PvP, I would use X27, which is the speedster. And then I'll level up whatever characters I have to level up. And I don't know if I should. I should hit this guy at least once because he's at 70. I'm pretty sure I hit for 70 now. But just to make sure he's under 60, which I know I hit for at base damage, we'll uh, make sure to hit him at least once. But yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. Leveling characters from now on. I shouldn't have done that. I just noticed. I don't think it really matters though, because we should be able to take them both down. 77 on that. And also, since these guys are going up levels as well, their damage is going to start changing. So gonna have to get used to that as well especially fighting higher level evos because you don't know how much damage you're gonna do until it gets to its max level which if I continue to fight high level characters the experience also goes up probably I don't know 20 plus fights to actually get them up to ah, maybe a little bit more because I don't know how much experience it's going up per level and then I think at certain levels it gains a little bit more experience as well plus it's the same amount for each one but I mean they're closing in on level 200 on these so yeah I don't know if I want to fight this 630 I mean I could probably take it on the only reason I'm hesitating is I don't want to waste too many credits I could though let's try it that, that is a ton of levels to have on top of, uh, yeah, 209. That's way more than enough. Uh, let's actually check because I don't want to. All right, so we should be able to take down this. I will have a problem with Apex. Big Boss shouldn't be a problem, although he does have the speed, which outspeeds uh, bot bow which you can actually one shot so there's another problem so either I take down him but no matter what two of them are gonna get to attack a apex is gonna attack for sure I could actually take down apex and then focus all my attacks on now nah, that wouldn't work because no matter what big boss is gonna get to attack so I don't know we're gonna have to take down the surfer and if you guys are wondering where you get the surfer because I know some people always ask you get it from the challenge hall which you can't currently get so you're gonna have to wait till it comes back around um, at this point I could give apex a boost which I don't think would really matter all that much but we are fighting a higher level evil so we're just gonna hit big boss um, the reason I actually wanted to hit Apex was we're going to focus on him and not Big Boss, although that might be a bad idea. I don't know, either way Big Boss is going to get to attack and whoever he attacks is going down. He's going to one shot, well I don't think he would one shot Colossus because 100k, for sure he would one shot Bob Boa, but if he doesn't I'm pretty sure I can take down Apex but if he does we lose because there's no way Colossus will take down both of these I don't know let's see what happens we're gonna attack Apex hoping he attacks um, X27 but I don't know the AI is pretty much all over the place so we'll see what happens and of course he attacks I was hoping he wouldn't do that but I think x27 should be able to yeah okay so he'll take him down I don't know if we're gonna have enough yeah we might actually have enough because we're gonna hit for 10k apiece that should take most of the shield down that should take the shield down and then we'll get an extra 10k 
even if Colossus doesn't hit for 60, I think we should still win because we get two attacks. There's the first one. Okay, so if you would have survived that, I'm pretty sure you would have took down X27. If you, even if you wouldn't have, I think we would have still won because it would have been able to take down his shield. All right, well, we got lucky on that one. So yeah, I, I really don't want to do that again. Although if I actually get my characters up, um, fighting people at level 600 plus shouldn't be that hard. It's just, we still got like a ton of levels to go. So that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a while. Once we get all of them up to 190, almost 97, 98, fighting people at 600 shouldn't be too hard because we should be, yeah, we should be closing in on six. I don't know if I wanna fight this guy either. I guess we can. Uh, I had to pick a better tag though to make sure I actually kill one character. It's good fighting the higher level ones just because you get more experience. Especially when you're leveling characters, it's just if you lose, you're gonna have to heal your characters, which I mean, you already do have to heal them because most of them die, but it's worth it for the experience. Apex, a lot of people use Apex under this as well. I mean, he's a really good character. Although I wouldn't couple that many um, saber mutants. I guess you can though. Although he mo went more tanky, these two are gonna attack no matter what. Well, he's gonna attack no matter what. I don't know who to take down here. I have to take down no Ren. I have to play the same way I just did, which kind of sucks because we barely won that one and I don't remember what that level Evo was. So, plus they have different, no, do they have different ones? I think they have the same. Most people use attack and HP or to attack. Yeah, they're both going to get to attack, so last time I didn't give him the boost, so I'm going to do that again, just for the fact that I'm pretty sure if I give him the boost, he would kill, even though he just killed me, because last time he didn't use the tag, this time they did, so we basically lost, because I'm 100% sure... Big Boss is going to one-shot Bob Boa. Even if he doesn't, we won't have enough to take down Big Boss. Yeah, we lost, so I'm going to have to give up. And the only reason I would give up is because I don't want to waste more med packs. Because if you give up, you keep the HP of these two. So I only have to heal one, plus I only lose five points. And that would save you credits. So if you guys are running low on credits, this basically all you do or you can give up right in the beginning like you can start the fight like if you don't want to waste 87 uh well it's probably a little bit more i don't know depending on how much credit it is to somebody um yeah you can just start the fight like this or you can just use lore just go to the bottom of the list pick three random mutants pick a random tag and then just lose the fight real quick or you can just give up and you'll keep everything I mean you'll lose points but if you're already gonna lose points you're already gonna lose points and on this one I don't know who to attack honestly uh, we might actually have a problem here although I'm gonna take down this one I guess I don't know I, d I don't think it really mattered who I took down here all right we're just gonna attack that oh I should have never mind I was gonna say I should attack the apex but I guess it wouldn't have mattered because they both have boost, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I might as well just give him another boost since I'm already attacking him. We'll see what happens. Please attack X27. Tag? Tag? No tag. And we should be able to take down one character. I'm going to choose Apex just for the fact that... It attacks twice, and I don't want to get to attack twice. So, 
Wait. I almost picked the wrong one. I was looking at the other character for some reason. Alright, hopefully we survive. We do. Even if we didn't, I think we would have still won. Because there's no way this character hits for 100k. Alright, we should win this one. Get some of our points back. As well as a little bit of levels. But yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this one. Um, I will be doing a little bit more PvP. Just to gain some of them levels. Um... We have a ton of levels to go. I gained a few levels, honestly, but yeah, you guys can see how many levels I actually need. I have so much to actually go up. I'm not even worried about points at this point, just because I have to get these guys up to 198. And then once I get them done, I'm going to start worrying about other characters and getting them done. Although, another thing that actually benefits you from leveling up your Evo is you get more credits. So that will definitely help me out. It's just you got to get your mutants up to get more credits. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time. But definitely look forward to more PvP videos as well as... Well, I don't really do PvP. I mean PvE videos. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. But that's going to be about it for this one. Let me know what level you guys' Evo is. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you guys later.